Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a summertime tag created by Pencils and Magic Wands here on YouTube and on Instagram. So the tag is all about summertime and having fun in the summertime. So I'm just gonna start by answering the questions and I'm gonna go ahead and tag all of you who are watching to do the summertime fun in the sun teacher tag. And if you end up posting a video, please make sure that you link your video down below in my comments so that I can see your video as well. Question number one, what is your favorite thing about summer? I have to say that my favorite thing about summer is probably spending time with my one-year-old and just being able to be like a full-time mom to him is like the most enjoyable thing. We get to play all day long. I get to really get to know his routines. I get to know him a little bit better and I'm really, really enjoying having the time with him. Question number two, how do you typically spend your summer days? Well, this kind of goes with the last answer that I gave. Most of my summer days are spent just taking care of my son, spending time with him, spending time with my husband if he's home. Um, we like to go to the park in the evening when it's not too hot. We like to play outside. We have a little baby pool in our backyard with a little slide and whenever the yard is completely covered in shade, I will take him outside and we'll play. Um, when he goes down for a nap, I do a couple different things. I like to clean the house or do a workout or sometimes I just like to play a video game or watch Netflix. So it just kind of depends on the day, but we're not really doing a whole lot. We don't have a whole lot of plans, which is super nice. Question number three. What are your go-to summer activities and are places to visit? Well, because we live in Southern Arizona, it is very hot here during the summer. It can get to about 110 or more in the summertime. So a lot of the things that we like to do here are indoors. And if we're gonna go outdoors, we like to go up north. So my son and my husband and I, we really like to go up to Prescott and visit my family and just get away from the heat. It's about 20 degrees cooler there. So when it's 100 degrees here, it's about 80 degrees up there. And it's just a nice place to visit and kind of get away. We like to do kayaking, we like to fish, we like to do things outdoors like hiking, walking, uh, fishing, and kayaking a lot. So if we're staying, if we're staying down here in Phoenix, we like to spend time at Schnepp Farm, which is right down the street. We like to play outside. We like to spend time with our neighbors. Our next door neighbors have three little girls, seven. 12 and going on 13 and so they like to come over and hang out with us they will watch cash if we want to go do something so super super awesome we just kind of like to stay home and do as minimum as we can uh, we like to get in a disney trip every year hopefully <laughs> and then my in-laws own a cabin up in the sholo area which is another northern arizona place and we like to go up there and visit as well Question number four, beach or swimming pool? Well, we don't have a beach anywhere nearby, so I'm gonna go with swimming pool. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? If I had to pick just one, I would probably choose mint chocolate chip, although I really do like Rocky Road too. I'm not really a sweets person, so when I do eat ice cream, those are the flavors I go to. Favorite summertime song? I really have been digging Lauren Elena's Ladies in the 90s, and Heart of Dixie by Danielle Bradbury. That one's kind of an older song, but I really do love that one. I listen to it all the time. And then Megan Trainor's Me Too. That's another older song, but I totally jam out to that while I'm doing dishes. Favorite summertime movie? Well, my neighbors have had me watching The Greatest Showman like every other day, so I'm gonna say that that's my favorite summertime movie. It never really gets old, but pretty much all the Disney movies were like going through them so that Cash can get his feet wet, getting used to the Disney movies, because those are my jam. But I don't really have a favorite summer. Actually, I lied. My favorite summertime movie is definitely the new Aladdin. I've seen it twice, and I don't get out much, you guys. And the last two times I've been able to go to the movie theater, that's the movie that I've seen. And I would definitely see it again, but I freaking love the new Aladdin movie. I think Will Smith did such a good job with the genie and all the music is so good. We listened to the soundtrack in the car and I just really have enjoyed that movie. What are your Netflix summertime viewing plans? Which shows or movies do you plan to watch? So. I have been currently watching Glee and I'm in the fourth season. It's almost the fifth season and I'm probably going to finish watching that 
this summer. If I had to recommend a Netflix show, our Heart of Dixie, super cute little southern romance. Only three or four seasons, I think. Um, love that one. I watched the whole thing of that 70s show. I watched all of Friends. I feel like I watched another one in between there and I just forgot which one it was, but currently watching Glee. I wanna watch that murder mystery movie with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Definitely gonna watch that one. Which books are on your summertime reading list? So I have all of Rachel Hollis's books, Girl Stop Apologizing and Girl Wash Your Face, and I would really like to get those read. And then of course I wanna finish reading The Wild Card um, because who doesn't wanna finish reading that? I just haven't had the time to do it. Um, but yeah, it's something that I would really like to do. I'm not really a reader. I don't really enjoy reading for pleasure. So if I pick up a book, it's very rare. But if I do, I definitely wanna read those three books. What are your must have essential items for the summer? Okay, I did read these questions ahead of time and I did collect a few items to show you. Okay, so the first thing I have to have in the summertime are my headbands. These are by Teaching Joys on Instagram and slash Etsy. And I really like her headbands because they're a little bit cheaper than the competitor. These are only $10. They are handmade as well. And she has some really, really cute patterns. So I have this like mustard yellow one that I really, really like to wear all the time. And then this one is super cute. It's peaches, which totally is my jam. <laughs> Peach jam, get it? I love the peach one because our farm, Schnepp Farm, grows peaches and you can go peach picking. So peaches is like, I had to have this one. Super cute. And then she actually gave me this one as an end of the year gift and it is these little flamingo floaties there. And I've been wearing this one a lot too with like black, like plain black or like white t-shirts with jean shorts. Totally been loving that. And then I have two more items that are must have for the summer. One is the butter bronzer and I actually got the idea to get this from my friend Vanessa and she is at a zest for teaching on Instagram and she actually lives right by me. So we head off to yoga all the time and like we hang out and guys, it smells like coconut. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I have it on today with another blush so it's kind of hard to see but it smells really good. I always use this every single day and then what I've been doing when Cash goes to bed. When my husband's not home, I'm by myself and I'm bored. I've been playing The Sims on my, ple <laughs> I've been playing The Sims on my PS4. Yes, I still play a PS4. Yes, I have an Xbox, but I prefer to do this on the PS4 because then it doesn't junk up the Xbox and this is in the living room. So I can play this when he's napping or when he goes to bed and I have nothing else to do and I don't feel like Netflixing or anything like that. I've been playing The Sims. My favorite part about playing The Sims is building the houses. Once I'm done building the houses, I get a little bit bored. I build a new house. So if you'd like to see a video, <laughs> of me building a house on The Sims or just see the houses I've built on The Sims, let me know in the comments and I'll totally make a gaming video. Okay, moving on to the next question. <sighs> Any teaching goals or projects you hope to accomplish over the summer? Well, I have a plan to create a ton of anchor charts while on summer break. Once I get my 301 money, which is like our pay per performance money, which is like a good little chunk, in July, I'm gonna buy a mini projector and then I'm going to project my anchor charts onto the wall and create them at home so that I don't have to create them at school because I feel like they take so much time during the school day. And so that is my summer project. Any professional development plans? No, I was thinking about going to get your teach on or teach your heart out, but I decided I wanted to just stay home this summer, enjoy my little boy, enjoy my family, and just relax because I spend so many summers with so many plans and I just wanted to chill this summer. When do you start preparing to go back to school? When is your first day back? So I believe I am due back to work the last week in July. It's usually the last week in July. I will start preparing for returning to work in mid-July, so like the beginning slash middle of July, after 4th of July is when I usually start preparing to go back. Describe your perfect summer day. Well, 
my perfect summer day would not be spent here in Phoenix, Arizona because it is too hot. So we're gonna travel up a little bit northern Arizona to Prescott. That is where the perfect summer day would be. It's mid-July, you wake up, it's nice and warm out, the sun's out. We all go to the lake. We go kayaking, we go paddle boarding, we go fishing, we spend the whole morning there. Then, as the afternoon approaches, the monsoons roll in, it starts to rain, and there's a thunderstorm with lightning, and you can just sit on the porch and watch the lightning and listen to the thunder and hear the rain, and it's so beautiful. After that monsoon rolls in, grill up some burgers, get out the banjo, the guitar, sit around a little fire pit, play some music, and then night rolls around, put the baby to bed, head on downtown Prescott, listen to the music, go downtown to the Whiskey Row, and dance, country dancing, line dancing, uh, two-step dancing, all of those things, and then finish out the night with a nice plate of chili cheese fries. That sounds like a perfect summer day. Three words to describe summer. Freedom. Hot. Freedom. Hot. Freedom. <laughs> I can only think of two. Freedom and hot. It's freedom time. I don't have to do any work. I don't have to listen to any children except my own. And it's hot out. That's about it. Okay, so if you guys wanna participate in this tag, I will have all of the questions linked down below. I will also have all of the other teacher tubers who participated in this wonderful tag linked down below in the description box as well. So, tag, you are it. Go and get your fun in the summer teacher tag started. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully um, you are enjoying your summer so far, and if you're not, Whatever it is that you're doing that's making it so you're not enjoying your summer, you need to stop doing that. Go enjoy your summer. Don't do any work for like a whole month. That was my stomach growling. Don't do any work for like a whole month. Enjoy yourself. And then once July comes or even August, because I know some of you guys don't go back until August, enjoy that month, then get back to work. You need to worry about yourself first. Okay guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.